they've all recovered from hepatitis C. They're relieved and grateful and want to pass on their experiences to help in the fight against the disease. Their group, Buena Vida or Good Life, meets frequently in Buenos Aires to help new sufferers and raise awareness. Our principal aim is to give information. The patient arrives with little knowledge and is shocked after being diagnosed with a chronic illness. The patient thinks they are going to die, so we start to tell them what is happening and why. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver tissue. Some have no early symptoms, while others develop jaundice and suffer vomiting, tiredness and abdominal pain. It may be temporary or long term. Gustavo had two liver transplants. The virus returned four months after the second transplant and put the liver at risk. The truth is I didn't have much hope, but thank God I was given this new treatment and it cured me pretty much 100%. After 13 years with the disease, he's now healthy. The whole group watching developments in Sao Paulo with interest. Hepatitis is a global problem, but the solutions are also global each country with its own characteristics, coming together in Sao Paulo to share their experiences in the fight to eliminate the disease by 2030. Argentina is one of the few countries to have a national program to fight the disease. Scientists and health experts work with government and civic society, former sufferers, a model the World Health Organization and World Hepatitis Alliance is keen to promote in Sao Paulo. From the viral hepatitis point of view, we had a lot of uh, uh, tools to get that control. We have vaccines. Four of the viruses already has vaccine nowadays. And also uh, this innovation with the treatment with the new viral antivirals that are so effective in, in, in control the infection. And even if we talk about hepatitis C, the cure. The target at the Sao Paulo summit is to focus on the fight to eliminate viral hepatitis by 2030. The challenge? To raise awareness, raise the funding and ensure that all are working together against a disease that no one should have to suffer from. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.